Okay. Hey everyone. Hi. Alea here. Um, so I was, uh, you know, putting out my call for finding someone to drive with um, for my uh, hopeful Euro trip around sustainable projects. And then I thought, actually, actually, like, wouldn't it be cool to find somebody on OkCupid who is looking to, like, just be spontaneous and do something for the summer and also is down to fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I thought, yeah, why not try that? So I'm doing up my profile a bit new for that and updating everything. So this is the first picture. This is my happy... Ah, this... What? So... This is the first picture. For some reason, it's like glitching. Um, so let's put a caption. This is the most recent full body photo. Do you approve? Should I care? Whatever. Flip to the next. Save. For the number two. Smoky Smokerson. Uh, I think on some level it makes me attuned to mortality and in turn nature. <laughs> photo cut my leg and randomly use the blood to uh, as war paint Looking like some princess mana. Okay, motherfucker. Talk about doing quirky sustainability shit like this. You like? So, this one. <laughs> Not my favorite selfie, but it's got titties for days. So, oh, and I look like a Jamaican auntie. <laughs> <laughs> B 
Beware the Cyber Witch. Sometimes she be doing a lot. But she means well. And it's usually okay. I'm a thirst trap. This is what a thirst trap looks like to me. It's not ass. It's just like them, you know. Come, come hither, eyes. Come hither. Oh fuck! I've jacked off to a picture of somebody's face before, and I had naked photos of them, and I still use their face instead because it was that come hither look. It was just like. Muh, muh. <laughs> okay, so for this now, let's see. Come here, boy. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. Let me sit on ya. I make music usually from bed <clears throat> because I don't have energy because I take meds and you diversity can yeah take meds Neurodiversity's a bitch. <laughs> well... mental health. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one. Not a recent photo, but it is. It is. <laughs> and yeah, this is a caption that you saw at the beginning because, yeah, this garden was a dream to me. Um, I had a German worker where who was there helping me and we went to this abandoned church across the road and we cut down a palm tree and made the posts and then um one day i will and we also did the branches like we got branches um and like fallen uh beams and made the the horizontal posts and then one day i woke up and I saw the garden and suddenly there was a gate. There was a gate for my garden to keep the goats out. And um, it was sunshiny and done like that. And I was just like, this is the cutest thing ever. And the yard man um, eventually didn't um, go and like 
weed up the place. So it was overgrown one day, and then my things were sprouting in my no dig garden bed. And it was just, oh, it was just so cute and sweet. I loved it. Um, and that was like my little happy place for a bit. <laughs> okay. This was my happy place for a little bit. House with 180 degree ocean view just outside the city. Garden. This can't go nowhere. Jason! Okay, now we look at my profile. <clears throat> I quit smoking. Lol. <laughs> All right. So Let's change this shit. All right. Hey! I'm a layer. Look at my pics for, uh, Cliff's notes on me as a person. What am I looking for? I am a vlogger. I make bits on the YouTubes. And I'm a sustainability advocate. I want to go on a Euro trip. Through Netherlands, Belgium, Francia, Spain, and Portugal. I can't drive, bro. And it's nice to split. The work also having someone DDF <laughs> don't hurt. So the assignment should you choose to accepted is to go on a new trip with me investigating sustainable projects and blogging about our trip our discoveries. My to build my sustainable social platform. Problem in the plan. Yay! Let's go! 
<laughs> we can add a picture. Let's add a picture. Yeah, let's keep it short, yeah? Okay. I'm a finisher. That's so dirty. <laughs> yeah, setting lofty goals and achieving them. I'm a finisher. Uh, golden rules, see yourself and others in order to treat them as you would want to be treated. Spend a lot of time thinking about sustainability and cultural products that have impacted me. I missed the question OKC used to have about where they asked you your music taste and movies, so I'll just insert it here. And then this is a bunch of shit that I always like um, use to remember how good my taste is. Because <laughs> it's real good. <laughs> she good. I wonder if there are any new artists I need to add to this music list. Yo me Okay, podcast I don't really listen to podcasts anymore, so And also Charles Eisenstein I mean he's okay but he doesn't you know strike me as like a personality uh that I need to like, pay attention to all the time. It's just not my vibe. He got a bit woo-woo, and it's fine to be woo-woo, but I'm not ready for that conversation. <laughs> I'm doing it in my own time. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's short and sweet. Especially if they can just, like, skim my taste. That's already something that is super important to me. Like, if I have, like, similar cultural touch points with you, then I feel that um, it's really good. Oh, yeah, I put down my own music or something. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, you know what? Okay, it's monogamous, right? Um, at one point I thought, oh, I could be poly. Actually, this wouldn't be a big deal. And then um, when I was crushing on someone, uh, then I thought, oh, he could possess me. Like, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about not being able to, like, express myself and, like, you know, pursue my passions of, like, you know, human connection. Like, it would be hot to have that person be jealous and controlling. <laughs> I've had that before. So, um, uh, I don't know. I might be monogamous at this moment, and then it might change. I don't... I'm just going to put monogamous out, because I... Yeah. And also, like, there's just too many variables at this point. Like, I can't be having people mixing up. Like, also, dudes sometimes just don't like know how to be good whores like i know how to be a good whore so i'm allowed to be poly but some dudes don't know how to be good whores so maybe if it was another woman then yeah we could be poly but with a dude i'm not sure um need to change doesn't smoke cigarettes because i do smoke cigarettes regularly regular Marijuana. It's 
smokes very on often. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, truth. Um, diet. <clears throat> Where is Flexi? Flexi dog locks. I mean, it's kind of intermittent fa fasting what I'm doing, but it's certainly not um on on purpose. My omnivore, right? My omnivore. My omnivore. Just, just, yeah. Just say it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't have kids, but I want them. That's true. Um, I do have a pet, but I don't live with her, so it's really hard to, like, describe that. Uh, employment. Uh, Self-employed. Because that's what I'm trying to be, so... Just, you know... It's better to say, like, what it is I spend my time a as a function, you know, doing. Occupation, not a writer. Founder. Founder, darling. Founder. I'm a founder. <clears throat> and what am I religious-wise? I'm not agnostic necessarily, but it is the closest thing I can approach. <laughs> you know, it was cool. There's this thing, there's this Facebook page called Verdictus Ficta, and they have this um, sub page called Church of Omnimism. And basically, the description is that they believe that all religious um, products are works of divine art and should therefore be celebrated and studied and, um, you know, uh, investigated and respected as such. And I really like that idea so much. Um, I'm really into it. Um, I follow the page of the Verdictus Victor because it's a lot of funny memes about, like, spirituality and that kind of shit. Um, but I haven't quite followed the page of the Church of Romanism as yet just because I want to be very careful about what I subscribe to and I don't want to necessarily, like, advocate for something until I feel like they're not pushing an agenda. And when it comes to spirituality and religion, you want to be very careful about, like, who you allow to cultivate your mind and your, um, enter your neural pathways and cement things in your um, consciousness as far as I'm concerned that's my thoughts so agnosticism is the closest thing um, like I said at one point I think we could just be gut bacteria in a very weird wobbly cosmos that looks different from what we can expect the person to look like I mean the same way that you know like atoms are spaced really far apart so you can't really see the big picture if you're small on that scale um you know, we might be very unable to see, you know, what the bigger entity that we're in is. But again, that's just a very plausible hypothesis because it's based on what is already happening on the planet. So I just extrapolate to something bigger. Doesn't mean it's true. Doesn't mean it's untrue. Doesn't mean nothing. All right, languages. English, Dutch, French, that's what I usually list, but I do speak some Spanish and I do speak some. I My Spanish has gotten really bad, bro. Um, I do speak some Spanish. And I do speak some German, so let's just add that shit. Make me, so, make me look good. Make me look good. I mean, like, tempting. I mean, I want to come to the uh, candy shop. <laughs> yeah what else politically liberal yes ethnicity black yes um sign libra yes pronouns she her why did I prefer not to say guess that was by default and yeah me thinks it's old and that's where it ends for you people you're not going to see the rest because I have to respect people's privacy but let me choose my <clears throat> photo I think I will go with uh, I mean what's the cutest one I like this one the most so
Now, actually, <laughs> whoops. Uh, actually, this one is really artistic and cute. But the, the, I don't want it to be the introductory um, caption because it sends the wrong mes message. Um, so actually, I mean, the order that they were in when I uploaded them is probably the right order they should be in. Yeah, let me just give a full full body photo so that there's just no no expectations of you know perfection or anything. When the person first sees me, they have to just like look and see and like kind of like uh, <clears throat> that might be you know more in my speed because I look cute enough. I it's kind of like basic, um, and it's not even the best like surroundings or anything but it's still sunny it's still got some nature elements and i you can see my full body you can see a little bit of boob it's not the most um like representative photo i would say of my aura but yeah it can work all right so i'll get to scroll in through people and We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I'll keep you posted. Ta for now.